at that tape from the game last year, play tough. They've got it on their backs, and they said uh, they kind of taught us to play tough. Is that is that the message you were trying to get across to them? Well, that was a message we were trying to get across, you know, after we played that game. So this, you know, when you have to watch it again, you know, it's watch, like watching a bad movie, you know, and you're, you're stuck and you're, you know, you have to watch it and, um, and and sit through it. But you have to learn from it. And I think really the message that we send as a coaching staff to them is, is learn from this game and allow it to make us better. But then when you get an opportunity to play somebody, Again, you know, now you can go out and hopefully, you know, be able to learn from it and then make advances in that team you competed against. The bench that's come up so big these last couple of games, how critical will they be in this one? Well, I think our, you know, our starting five is, is very critical in terms of they got to set the tone for us um, to start the game. And then, you know, our bench has to come in and, and just simply be productive. Each guy is different. Um, and how they're productive, but just come in and be productive and be solid. You know, we do not need to hit home runs, just need to be solid, hit singles, and uh, you know, be that team that's consistent, take care of the basketball, and then rebound at the other end. Now, obviously, Singler and Shire, are those guys have been mm. players all year, but Zubek has, has played really well here in the tournament. What sort of dynamic does he bring? How's it changed what you guys do defensively and that sort of thing? Well, I don't think anything more um, defensively, you know, with him. It's, uh, you know, Smith, Shire, and Singler are the three horses, the guys that they go to. I just, you know, you got to box him out. You know, he has just been an animal on the glass. And he, he's a guy that can play 14, 15 minutes and get seven rebounds. And those are just, you know, startling numbers, um, you know, for a center. So we just got to get a body into him and keep him off the glass and not allow second chance opportunities. But he's done a great job along with Lance Thomas and their energy um, in defending and, and rebounding the basketball. And we got to try to match that. Do, do they defend similar to the way you guys defend and try and force to rush possessions away and that sort of thing? Are there similarities or mirror images there? I think there's some similarities. <laughs> they're, they're different um, in, in other areas, but their, their pressure man to man is very, very good. I would say the best thing to do is their team defense. Uh, they're just locked in. Um, they get you going fast, and they get you. They get you frustrated, and that's what you can't allow. You know, you can't allow them to speed you up. And if they do speed you up, you have to be under control. And they do a great job of taking charges. Um, but I would say the thing that sticks out, you know, I would say the best that we've seen this year, and just their team defense. They, they do a great job of really swarming the basketball. How does this play out the significance of a 31 season and uh, a lead eight appearance for the first time in a decade, as far as the program is concerned? Are those storylines you impress on these guys? Oh, we don't. We don't even talk about it. You know, we just talk about competing and, and then carrying out your assignment um, to put ourselves in position um, to beat a team like Duke. And you just don't walk out and talk about beating Duke. And then talk about those goals. You got to put yourself in position first to do that. Now you and the players still talk about this underdog thing. How much it's it's seemed to have spurred the guys on. Is this something you're still working with and still talking about? Well, I think it, it's happened for us for four years for our seniors. You know, when they're freshmen, they weren't supposed to be at Arizona. When they're sophomores, they weren't supposed to be at Baylor. Um, then when they're juniors, there's no way um, they were supposed to beat a team like Washington in their backyard. And, and so then when you start the tournament this year, and you know you're not supposed to beat Siena, you're not supposed to beat Texas A&M because you lost one your starters it, it, it gets to be old you know for them because nobody believes in them in their minds and, and so now you know whatever it takes to motivate them to get them rolling you know that, that that's fine um, you know I, I i really like it i enjoy you know uh, the coaching and the strategy now because we have to play a little bit differently and uh, i think we're making improvements as a group right now which i, I think is it's a refreshing and it also helps you you know talk them through some things that maybe are a little bit different or awkward because you know we're playing a lot smaller